Hi guys, today we are just going to do a quick review over story elements, okay? This is something that we covered um, pretty much the entire fall, but we just need to review because, you know, winter break, we got our winter break brains still. Um, I highly recommend being in class today though because we are going to play a game of Jeopardy. Okay? Today we will review the story elements like plot, setting, conflict, and character traits. Start with plot, the most difficult one. Remember, these are just the sequence of events that make up a story. We like to put them on a plot diagram that looks like this, okay? So say it with me now. First, we have our exposition, where we meet our characters, our setting, and our main conflict. Then everything starts getting good. We've got our rising action. Up at the top, we've got our climax. Then our falling action and our resolution, okay? That is um, our plot diagram. Rising action, remember, is where our events start picking up. Everything starts, uh, that suspense and action start building. Our climax is our kaboom moment, the most suspenseful and crazy moment of the story. Next, we have falling action, where everything kind of starts to slow down. And then our resolution, where we um, the story ends, we find out um, what happens, okay? So let's go ahead and take a look here and tell me, what do you think, excuse me, The um, what part of the plot is highlighted in this text? I want sugar loops, Tommy screamed at his mother. She shook her head in distress, then responded. Look, Tommy, that's not how you ask for anything. And we've already gone over this. You have ha you can have bran flakes or dryos, no sugar loops. Tommy shook his head back and forth violently. He laid down on the floor and started kicking his feet and screaming. Mom grabbed her phone out of her purse. Tommy, if you stop this tantrum and get back in the cart, I'll let you play Among Us on my phone. Tommy looked up excitedly and began gathering himself off the floor. Mom put the box of sugar loops back on the shelf and tossed the dryos into the cart. Right, so remember, exposition, that's where we meet our main characters. Does that happen? No, it's near the middle of the story. So our, I want our big question here to be, is this the rising action or the climax? Think about it. Are things still getting good? Is there a more um, eventful moment? I don't think so. I think it's definitely our climax. All right, next, remember, we have our setting, which is time and place, the when, the where, and even the environment that our story takes place, okay? So don't forget the when is our time. Is it a year, a day, in the afternoon, okay? Where tells us the place that it took place, the school, the zoo, in the backyard, okay? And then the environment. Um, this is going to be kind of like what's going on um, around our story. So is it during a pandemic? Is it in a stinky dump? Is it during a storm? That all um, affects our setting, okay? So let's read this, and we have to think about what the setting is. Joan grabbed a big bowl from under the sink. I can't wait to eat the cookies, she said. Her mom put the ingredients out on the counter. Can you start mixing the eggs, said mom. Sure, said Joan. Joan mixed the eggs and started to add the other ingredients. Her mom turned on the oven. So think about it. Where and when would this story take place? It's definitely in a kitchen, right? They're baking. It's got to be during, you know, the day or present day even. We know that they're probably not baking at night, all right? Finally, we have our conflict. Remember, this is the struggle between um, opposing forces or characters. Sometimes that's internal, where we have our character uh, versus self conflict, where you're trying to make a difficult decision. Or it can be external, um, which means it's against another character. So it could be character versus character or character versus nature. Remember, that's anything when it's the character versus an animal or weather or sickness okay and then finally man ver or sorry character versus society okay that is when it is a character who is going against society or uh the norms okay so let's think about this two boys get into a fist fight because they disagree over which book is best what type of conflict is that is it character versus character character versus self character versus nature character versus society Think about it. Send me an email, and if you do, I'll give you bonus points. All right, finally, we went over this yesterday, but let's talk about character traits. Remember that um, those are just words that we use to describe characters, okay? Um, we have our protagonist, who's the main character, and the antagonist, who is working against them. So Harry Potter, Voldemort, okay? All right, now we are going to play Jeopardy. I did post the PowerPoint for Jeopardy. If you want to just go through it yourself, that is totally fine. You actually don't have a show it today, so enjoy the break. If you guys have any questions, please let me know.